Good morning, everybody. This is Rachel from Queen Vacuum, and I was just filling up the shop, uh, unboxing some vacuums, and I was unboxing a classic C1 canister vacuum, and I realized this would be a good opportunity to demonstrate to you the two different types of filtration that Miele offers. The way that this unit is packaged in the box is like the perfect way to kind of show you, because uh, it comes with both systems. So without further ado, here we go. So this is a classic C1 home care, but you'll see I've taken out the vacuum cleaner. Here she is. Uh, and I just put the accessories box on top, but you'll notice that the HEPA filter comes loose in the box, okay? The way that she is packaged, okay? So you get your bag, the pre-motor filter right here, but this is what I'm talking about here, the exhaust filter. This is what kind of defines the two different kinds of filtration that Miele is offering. So an exhaust filter is also called a post motor filter after the motor. So whereas this guy is a pre motor filter before the motor, which is inside this little belly here with the air blowing up and out. This port is the exhaust port after the motor post motor. So it's an exhaust filter and this represents Mila's basic very basic uh, filtration system. And the reason you have an exhaust filter is the number one thing you wanna be capturing is the byproduct of the motors. These motors um, have what are called carbon brushes in them. It's part of uh, how it conducts electricity and they erode away over time. And literally the black dust that they are made of, the carbon will come off. Okay, as it scrapes against um, the insides of the motor, it will um, come off and otherwise blow out into your breathing air, which we don't want. So a filter being here collects that debris. Okay, so in this case, um, there is a little space holder cage, okay? Um, now, if you had bought a regular, uh, a lower end C1 classic vacuum cleaner, like a turbo team or a pure suction, this would be all you would get Okay, this cage is here, and what's underneath it is you see Miele Air Clean. It's one of these thin filters, okay? These happen to come in the boxes of bags along with the pre-motor filter, okay? So you can kind of see this little area here, the motor's down under here, under this cover, okay? So this is a basic Air Clean filter. The top always stays looking pretty good, but the underside will eventually turn black with that uh, that motor carbon byproduct and some other light, light debris. Um, the tiny, minute amount that does escape the bag um, will collect here, but this is relatively porous, and so that really fine allergen particulate is small enough to pass through that and then out into the atmosphere. So this system, using this air clean filter, which stays whole, would sit here and have this uh, cage snapped down on it. It's hard to do this one hand, sorry guys. Okay, imagine that snapped down. Uh, and then that would be your filtration system. So one, two, three, done. Okay, now this model, these are uh, the cat and dog in the home care, as part of their bonus package, come with a special exhaust filter. Now the cat and dog would come with a charcoal filter, but for Main purposes, we're going to talk about the HEPA filter. This is a home care. It'll come with a HEPA filter. This is an alternative cartridge, who you'll see in a second, is much bigger with different media in it that's very, very finite and can trap allergen particles. The super, super tiny stuff that makes us sneeze and our lung irritants and give people with, you know, lung disorders um, a lot of problems. So it's an alternative system. So the only thing that makes it confusing with these models is because they're packaged with both, you get this, you want to run with this, but it does come with this, I call it like the old fashioned downgrade cage, okay? So um, so I don't like using it. So what I like to do is to take this whole thing out because it does come out, pop, pop, okay? Take that out. You can save this for a rainy day. And then instead, out with you, Ugh. okay is a HEPA filter. And this will go in here instead. So super quick, just to look at this anatomy before we pop it in. This whole cartridge, okay, it's very thick, okay? It's, I don't know what that is, three quarters of an inch, inch thick. And what is inside is this white papery type, very 
finely woven material. If you stretched all this out, there are like yards of material in there, a lot of surface area, okay? And again, it's woven tightly enough, if you think of it like a mask or something, it's designed to filter out fine, fine, fine debris. So your bag um, does this in um, a slightly different way, but the bag is a HEPA type media. Okay, so it's HEPA type, it's uh, similar, but this is the real deal. So, um, and you'll see on the underside, you'll see the, that same material, okay? It's all according through. So when this is sitting here, the exhaust air that gets cleaned from the bag goes through the motor, has some of little bit of debris, and then the motor carbon is gonna come through this cartridge and impregnate it from the underside so that the top side will always stay snowy white. But this side, if you looked at it, after a period of time, it will be like black, okay? But the main thing is that it's chopping those fine particles so that they don't come out in your breathing air. So how does it do that? Well, it's sitting there and you'll notice that these are very, very, very um, precisely gasketed so that this filter seats marries to the body. Okay, well, good, good, good. We just got... Okay, sorry about that, guys. It's busy in here. <laughs> anyway, so, um, so this filter, this sealed cartridge with this media, all accordion inside is sealed, and then there's a very, very precise gasket, a soft gasket that runs around the entire um, filter as a bead. And when this sits in place and snaps down, it's hard to do with one hand, guys, snaps down into the body, now this is seated to the body of the vacuum cleaner so that it's forcing every bit of air that's coming into the vacuum, flowing through filtration media, and going through this filter before it goes out into your breathing air. That's a big deal. Filters that are not built as precisely will leak out of themselves, out of the, the cartridge, beyond the filtration media, or leak air unfiltered out of the seams if the seals are not well developed or the tolerances aren't precise. So that's why using the genuine Miele HEPA filters are very, very crucial, okay? It's like putting the wrong parts in your car. Uh, they're not going to work as intended and there are consequences to that, so don't do that. So now these filters, because there's so much media, they are able to hold more matter and therefore they can last a lot longer than these little guys that you would just be changing every four bags, okay? So you, this guy, this guy, you do them every four bags. They fill up pretty quickly. But these can last an entire year's worth of normal use. Normal use is about an hour a week for most homes, which equals about 50 hours a year. So what we like to do, and we encourage you to, is to always write the date with a Sharpie on the outer casing of the HEPA filter itself, Okay, just write it big so you can see when you put it in. And I liken this to oil changes in your car. You get a little sticker that has the date written on it. Write the date on it. Secondarily, and this is like my favorite thing, Mila has this little guy called a time strip. It's just a little sticker. If you flip it over, you can kind of see there's just a little bubble. It's just a little packet of red dye inside there. Okay, when these get installed, when they go live, we press this little green dot really hard with your finger or like, you know, the blunt end of a pen and give it a squish. You'll feel it squish and watch it. A little red line, the, the, the red dye will flow into the, into this little sticker part, the, the white part of the viewfinder. And that'll tell you that it has been activated. Okay. Um, so just, but don't walk away until that red line, you see it, you might have to squish it a couple times, but make sure the line is there. Then as you use it throughout the year, the warmth of the vacuum cleaner is going to encourage that dye to flow out and start filling up and coloring this sticker red, okay? Eventually, the whole sticker will be red, and you will see the word replace will show up, and that is your indication that this filter is toast. It can't hold anymore. It is done. So, again, like oil changes, we can go by time, okay, or by actual mileage. This represents your mileage. So, for instance, if this was, say, maybe you had three vacuums in the house, and you maybe only use your meal a third of the time or a third of the normal time, this filter can last you a bit longer, okay? What we see more often is that people use their meals a lot more than the average, especially if they're a pet um, household 
or maybe have allergies, they're using the vacuum maybe two, three hours a week. And this is where this is really, really helpful because this will show you your actual usage. So in other words, this filter might time out in six, eight, 10 months, not quite a year. Okay, so you wanna get this changed when this is all red, or if it's you know looking okay by the time the time elapses, um, letting them sit in here too long, even if it's not filled, it's decaying biological matter. So and it's a source of odor and yuck. So we want to get rid of it anyway. Okay, um, but just like your oil changes, if you neglect to change this, you can cause a lot of performance problems. Overheating, people will call up. My vacuum isn't working. It's turning off. It's overheating. The bag is fine. I checked it. It's empty. I know there's no clogs, what's going on? My question is, when did you last change a HEPA filter? What HEPA filter? And this thing is like five years old and the poor thing is just struggling to breathe. So I hope that helps guys. So this is the, the primary way that Miele runs their filtration systems. They are a premium filtration system machines. That is their whole jam. And this represents um, the best filtration that you can get. This is a classic C1, so the seals are not quite as highly developed in these as they are in the C3 models. These are true sealed machines. The, the, the seals inside the machine are a little more highly developed, and these are like at the level of an air purifier on wheels. These are no joke. Uh, Miele's highest filtration potential period that they offer. The C1s, are still extraordinarily good, but they're not at the same level as the C3. So that is an important distinction. However, if you're um, needing to keep your purchase within a certain budget, and you maybe don't have the most horrific suffering of allergies, God bless you, um, no pun intended, then uh, you can absolutely get away with a C1, but you still can improve your filtration by you know, using um, a, HEPA, a HEPA filter here, or in the cases of if you want to do more of odor control, you can use the alternative filter, same size, interchangeable, and you can use a one of these guys. Yeah, the active air clean charcoal filter. Instead of HEPA media in there, there's activated charcoal, like all loose granules, chicka, chicka, chicka. and there is an air clean filter on the top here just to again, trap that carbon dust that we're worried about. But so those are your options, they're interchangeable, but this is the best way to run. So I hope that makes sense. If this is the machine you have, make sure your filter is installed, um, pushed down and snapped in all the way, dated, activated, okay? And what to do, what to do with this guy? Well, what I like to do is just save it as you see here. I'll just uh, band that together and I will save it in my old cap a box, but write on the box, cross that out because it's not a HEPA anymore. And I just write filter downgrade cage and a big, you know, permanent marker just so I know that this is contained. I know what it is for, generally speaking, um, but it is no longer the HEPA. It is the alternative or downgrade to the HEPA. Why might you use that? Say you had construction in the house or something like that. Things like lots and lots and lots of sheetrock dust will kind of overwhelm the system. You'll use up bags quickly, but some of that's going to pass through into the HEPA filter and that will fill up the HEPA filter prematurely. And so, um, you know, you really want to use a shop vac for all that, but when you're doing your final cleanup, yes, you want to use your Miele. Um, and yes, this will get the residual dust very, very well, but I just recommend not wasting a HEPA filter on that until it's the very, very end. So in other words, I would take this guy out, put this system in instead, and do my little bit of remediation in the house um, with the system, then remove it all again, put fresh bags filter, and put my HEPA back in, um, and then you know make sure everything's clean from there on out. But that way I don't waste a HEPA filter, okay? So I hope that all made sense, guys. <laughs> it's one of the number one questions we get uh, when we get these when, with these new machines, um, people are confused about the filtration systems. I hope that will carry over to if you're still in the market for Miele and you're trying to decide between models, that is one of the big distinctions. If you look carefully, that you'll see between um, and it's in the the lower end series, the this classic and compact C1 series. That's one of the big distinctions is that all the entry level models will only come with. The basic, very inexpensive, 
um, lower filtration system. That's how they'll come, and that's why part of the reason why they're less money. But your upper end um, oil C3s will come with HEPA filters with it with a premium filtration system, and the models in between, like the upper end, um, the power team systems in the in the classic C1 series, will come with that HEPA or charcoal filter. In addition to this, um, that's part of why um, they're a little bit more expensive. As HEPA filters themselves are over 50 bucks, the once a year purchase, but it's a very, very purposeful uh, thing. And if you know, you're trying to clean your house and if you guys have allergies, that is a big consideration. Again, um, any machine that comes with this, a modern machine, can still take a HEPA or charcoal. They can be upgraded. That's not a problem. It's just um, when the machines are new, like that whole box package, it's a discounted bundle. Uh, so all the accessories, the filter, all the extra stuff that they come with, uh, it's discounted quite a bit than just buying a lower end model and trying to a la carte build it back up to that, if that makes sense. So I hope that helps guys. Uh, and if you have any more questions about your meal that you already have, or if you're in the market for one, I hope that you'll utilize the resources that we have on our website on queenvacuum.com, or by all means, give us a call. Um, but yeah, you local folks, definitely, it's a lot easier to understand this stuff if you comment and take advantage of the showroom we have so you can look at the vacuums uh, side by side, ask us questions, and learn more about the differences between them so you can see how those differences apply to you and your household situation and your needs. Okay, it's, mm, I've got other videos that talk about the differences between the series because it's, it's a long story, but, um, but yeah, it's an investment for your home, for your health. You want to make sure you get the right one. And this just happens to be one of those things that make, um, make up some of those differences. Okay. So check back with us soon. I hope you'll call or visit another time soon. We love you guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.